Hi everyone, it's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of this 6.2 pound bag of rhinestone costume jewelry that I got in an online auction from shopgoodwill.com. And I think all in with shipping, handling, and tax, this 6.2 pound bundle came to, I think around 60 or $65. So I'm just gonna go through it and see what kind of stuff I got. It looked like a pretty good bundle from the online pictures. So I think it's gonna be a good mixture. Oh, and this first piece, I think it's just a couple of the jump rings have come loose. I think I can fix that. I don't think it's actually broken. So it's a necklace, gold tone chain, some kind of hot pink, dark pink acrylic cabs and a bunch of clear icy rhinestones. But this one link, uh, I hope it's just loose. Yeah, I think it's just the jump rings have come loose. So that should be a quick fix. So I'm gonna put that to the side. I've got this ever-growing pile of um, jewelry that needs minor repairs, like it needs a new class, or here's a watch, just needs a new battery, or this one I think has a um, loose rhinestone that needs to be re-glued. So I'll have to work on that someday. <laughs> I just seem to keep adding to my repair pile and not ever actually doing the repairs because it's not as much fun as going through and looking at jewelry. So I'm going to set the um, earrings off to the side and hopefully I'll have matches in this bundle. That's very nice. And when I get the matches, I'll show them to you and then... Oops, I've got this little acrylic earring stand I can put all the earrings on. So I'll put this here. So I think there are more earrings in this bundle. Yep, here's another earring. Oh, I already have a match. Cool. And let's see. So these are nice. Um, kind of an antique-y gold tone metal, then um, kind of a brown faceted acrylic stone, some turquoise color cabs, and then a bunch of pale yellow and icy rhinestones. Oh, dangles, they look like good, good shape. Look like all the rhinestones are there. I don't see any maker's marks on the little French hooks, so add this pair to my Earring rack. Mm. Nice. And here's another big blingy rhinestone necklace. It's got five of these kind of little rhinestone links and they're attached to each other with jump rings. Uh, looks like it's in good shape. Looks like all the rhinestones are here. And it's on a chunky gold tone chain with a lobster clasp and an extender. Don't think I see any maker's mark, so not sure who makes this one, but very good condition. So I'll just put this on this necklace board. Hopefully I can get through everything in this bundle in one video. Um, it's quite a big bag, but only six and a half pounds. It's not like a 20 pound bundle. Um, oh, this is cool. This kind of looks like a peacock. So, is that, yeah, I think that's a big kind of mottled green acrylic cab that's attached to this little gold tone finding. Then it's got this wonderful um, 
kind of brass colored with green rhinestone little peacock going around the side and this forms the pendant bale and it's got this multi-strand necklace this is just green corning and some um, seed beads different colored seed beads and it's on this little lobster clasp with extender so that's fun <laughs> let's see if I can get this on this board my cat's jumped up to the back of my desk chair I might have to put her outside my room because a lot of times she likes to photobomb when I'm doing these videos so we'll see how she's going to behave today oh I've got a couple of these blingy rhinestone chokers it looks kind of small but I guess uh, yeah okay it's got this little extender thing with a lobster clasp so you can make it whatever size you need and this is kind of a rose pink and it looks like it might have a maker's mark let me get my loop out and what does it say I've got it it's upside down Jane's Fashions So that's cool. And then I've got the same one in the clear AB. So I think this is the same. Well, no, this one doesn't have the little tag, but this one's a little bit wider. But see, you can adjust the size with this chain and chain extender and lobster clasp. I'm assuming it's probably the same company. But I'll do a little bit more research before I list that. Very blingy. And here's my first bracelet. It's kind of clear rhinestones with a slight rainbow coating. The stretchy band seems in pretty good shape. Here's what that looks like. And then I have a burlap bracelet bar here that I'll add all the bracelets to. And there's the earring display. Here's another bracelet, but I might put this in crafts. The it's the elastic is all discolored and fraying and see it's not really snapping back. So I'm afraid to even put that on my wrist to try and see how it looks. I'm just afraid the elastic's about to give up the ghost. But some really cool um, rhinestone components. I might just cut that up and use that in my own craft projects. Or add it to a craft bundle. And here's a multi-strand choker on uh, suede or... Possibly, I think faux suede feels almost like a combination between felt and suede. And it's got kind of black and clear rhinestones. And then just, oh, it's adjustable. You just attach it to whatever size you want. That'll probably go into crafts. I think I see a couple of missing rhinestones and that's kind of lightweight and kind of chintzy looking. Oh, here's another earring that I have to put to the side to see if I have a match. Ooh, I hope I have the match. That almost kind of looks like a B, like a stylized B almost. It's kind of cool. What else? Here's another bracelet. Uh, is that magnetic? No. Is that stretch cord? It's got black and kind of smoky gray rhinestones. Here's what that looks like. And leave me a comment. Do you like rhinestone jewelry? Are you a fan? Yes or no? I'll get a few pieces of 
rhinestone jewelry here and there and other jewelry bundles, but um, I was specifically looking for all rhinestone jewelry lots. A lot of times you'll get the just the clear crystal or the icy rhinestone color, but this lot looked good because, um, yes, there are a lot of clear rhinestones in this one. There are also quite a few um, pieces that are like turquoise and red and blue. So uh, I just thought that looked interesting. Ooh, look at this. This is a ring with an adjustable stretchy band. And whoever was selling it had a price tag of $12. And I guess it's one size fits most. Look at that. Kind of teal rhinestones and teal glitter. Let me see. So that could probably fit up to probably a size nine ish. You know, you don't want to overstretch the band. Yeah, probably size nine or ten. Because I can get that on my thumb, no problem. That's fun. And didn't think I was going to have any rings in this bundle. I do have this little display. Maybe move these chokers out of the way. Let's see if I get any more rings. And here's another earring. Not sure why this is in the bundle. That's not rhinestone. So maybe that was a hitchhiker and I'm not going to have the match to this one. Because this is supposed to be an all rhinestone jewelry bundle. Oh, remember that peacock necklace I just showed you? Look, I've got a peacock rhinestone ring. It's kind of brass colored metal, a little enamel, orange and blue enamel, and then all these um, kind of turquoisey colored rhinestones. So I'm going to have to get my ring mandrel to get you a size. Let's see. Oh, this one's big. It's about a nine and a half. And yeah, let me get my loop to see if there's any markings on the inside of the band. I don't see any. Ooh, I should put that the other way. Cool. And see you could wear it with the peacock necklace. I might sell that as a set. That's kind of fun. Maybe even throw that ring in there. I like to sell my stuff in bundles most of the time, unless it's like sterling silver, gemstone, or really, really collectible sign piece. Um, I don't sell individual pieces that often. I mean, you will find individual pieces on my eBay store, but for the most part, I sell bundles of like five to 30 pieces. So um, I'll probably do a couple of all rhinestone jewelry lots. Um, in the past, I've done all gold tone jewelry lots or all mermaid core jewelry lot, like you fill it up with um, pearls and abalone and shells. This kind of makes it fun. So here's another ring. Just um, these black, are these glass? Not sure. Yeah, I think that was a little um, black glass balls and icy rhinestones. And ooh, looks like it's about to rain. So hopefully my internet doesn't cut out while I'm filming. Or my power and this is an adjustable band so um, you could probably adjust that from about a size 6 to about a size 9-ish I think my ring finger is about a 7 and a half or 7 and 3 quarters but see this silver band you could pinch it in to make it smaller or pull it out a little bit to make it bigger So, so far, knock on wood, I like this bundle. Um, it looks like a lot of really good condition, mostly wearable stuff, not too much stuff going to crafts. Here's another stretchy band bracelet, kind of antique gold tone metal, and it's these little um, stations that all kind of interlock together. See that? All rhinestones, but the elastic looks to be in good shape. Doesn't seem like it's about to break. Ooh, that's really nice. Look at that. 
fancy tennis bracelet. Um, again, you might want to choose to restring it. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you see, and whenever I get these stretchy bracelets, um, you, you just never know how old they are. Um, the elastic eventually gets old and brittle or um, loses its elasticity, its ability to stretch back and forth. Um, so just use caution when you've got these uh, stretchy bracelets. So I've got the match for this one. That's nice. It's kind of like the sea green glass cat or glass stones in the same sea green color up top. A little enamel daisy and the peach rhinestone and then a larger peachy rhinestone. Very nice. Again, I might put these in that um, peacock bundle. They just all seem to be kind of coordinated. And that's how I usually do my bundles. Okay, what's next? Oh, I'm getting a tangle. Don't oh, like tangles. What's this? Wow, look at that. Is this a cuff? Oh, it's not hinged. So this is all AC rhinestones. Beautiful. Looks in really great condition, almost like new silver tone metal um unfortunately i'm not yeah i can't get this on to show you how it looks i have relatively small wrists but i've got big bear paw hands and big knuckles so this type of cuff bracelet unless it's the clamper kind that opens up and has a hinge i just can't even begin to get that on <laughs> which is too bad this is really nice but if you don't have huge Huge hands. Um, yeah, nice. Sparkly. So here's one I could wear. So this one I'll probably put in a set. Like this will probably be a lot. These two chokers and then this bracelet looks like it matches. It's the AC rhinestones with the AB, heavy AB coating. So it kind of looks like rainbowy. And it's a cuff, stretchy. I should be able to get this one on. Hang on. Yeah, and I like this because it's um, stretchy. It doesn't jangle around. You know how sometimes the bangle bracelets, they are, they're very big because they have to be big enough to fit over your hand and then they ended up being too big, almost too big when they're on your wrist. But that, I almost feel like I need a second one of these to be Wonder Woman or something, you know? <laughs> when I power wristbands. Uh-oh. Well, here comes my cat. Shadow. Hey, baby. What doing? Say hello. She must see bugs or something flying around. I had this little fruit fly or something flying around. Hang on, let me put her out. Outside. Not actually outside. I just put her in the living room and closed my bedroom door. <laughs> so I can finish this video. Oh, here's another one of those cuff bracelets. So I might add this to that same bundle. This one um, is gold tone with clear rhinestone. See, this one was a silver tone with the AB coated rhinestone. But it's the same thing. So now I could do Wonder Woman. <laughs> I've got my super superhero cuffs on. Woohoo! Look at that. Sparkly. So, do you think rhinestone jewelry is too gaudy? I like the colored rhinestone jewelry, actually, more than the icy clear rhinestone. Like purple rhinestone jewelry. That's cool. Oh, I got a bunch of bracelets. And here's another bracelet. So, this one is the silver tone, but this was with clear rhinestone as compared to this one, which is the AB coated. So loads and loads of bracelets in this bundle. That's a good mix. I see. So I see bracelets, rings, earrings, necklaces. That's nice. This is. I mean, I know I paid sixty-five dollars. Might seem like a lot for six 
pounds of costume jewelry, but these are some really nice pieces. And I haven't even done a Google lens yet. You know, usually when I go to take my pictures to list these pieces online, um, I Google lens a lot of these pieces to see what pops up. And also get you an idea of what other people are selling, what the kind of average price is. This is a really nice necklace. Look at this. It's um, gold tone and it's like a flower themed bib with all these really cool um, little flowers. Look at that. All different designs, kind of like daisies and violets. Uh, kind of seafoam green and ivory, a little pale blue. I don't think I see any maker's mark on this one. Um, but I will do a Google Lens on this later to see if it comes up with a particular designer. Here's what it looks like on the back. I mean, very good condition. A lot of times, these costume jewelry bundles, um, a lot of the jewelry comes in, it's really dirty and kind of ooky like your hands end up becoming black but um i'm really impressed so far knock on wood this bundle pretty much seems in good condition it's not all nasty dirty now this one is showing where this is a clamper bracelet um but it's a really cool piece Kind of antique silver, kind of leaves and flowers, and all these clear rhinestones. And you're not going to really see that when you're wearing it, so I will probably put this in a bundle. Um, just when you're listing it, you want to point out it is showing signs of wear there. But otherwise, I think it's a really nice bracelet. Oops, it's a little top heavy. Let's actually put this one down here. There you go. Maybe up to 22 minutes. Ooh, here's a very nice one. Red rhinestone cuff bracelet, silver tone metal. Um, this is stamped. Oh, stainless steel. <laughs> um you see that stainless steel? So I thought it was a maker's mark, but... Oh, that one actually I can get on. But see, now that I can... It's big enough to fit over my big bear paw, but now... I don't like really wearing bracelets that are this big and clunky. I prefer the bracelets that are closer to the wrist. Um, that's my personal preference. But it is very pretty. So I'll have to see if I have any other red rhinestone jewelry or I could always do like a patriotic lot that's another bundle I've done before when you've got like red white and blue together in a bundle nice little fourth of July kind of patriotic bundle here's another one of those rhinestone choker necklaces this one's a silver tone metal clear rhinestones and again you can adjust the size with this Really long extender chain and lobster claw clasp. And what's this one? I wish I could have another necklace board. It looks like I have quite a few necklaces in this batch. This is not going to fit. Not going to fit. Oh, this chain is all tangled. Here's another necklace, uh, acrylic stones, kind of light and dark turquoisey color, and kind of an opaly turquoise colored rhinestones, and then kind of like a smoke gray topaz or. Is it gray or green? Yeah, it looked gray, but now looking through my camera and the light hitting it, almost looks like a little bit green. Um, very good condition. Uh, silver tone chain, lobster clasp, and the extender. Don't see any maker's mark. 
but that's nice. Ooh, that'll go nice with that turquoise colored ring. So when I put my bundles together, I kind of look at the stuff that's ready to be listed. And like I said, I usually do it by color or, or theme, or you could do by design. Like if you've got a lot of floral kind of botanical looking jewelry that could be a bundle or if you have a lot of animals that could be a bundle um i've sold quite a few mermaid core bundles with the uh, pearls and abalone and shells uh mother of pearl um i seem to have good luck selling that type of bundle so whatever floats your boat this is an interesting bracelet i think it's missing a rhinestone right they're not here. That's just part of how this part is attached to this part. See, one, two, three, four attachment points. But I think it's missing a rhinestone there. I would probably still try selling that or putting this in a bundle and just note it's missing the one rhinestone. But it's so blingy. You, you, you mean, you really have to be looking for the missing rhinestone. It's on this, uh, what is this, like a clamper? Yeah. So gold tone and is it pebble textured? This isn't leather, but it's like faux leather, pebble textured with this big blingy rhinestone bar. Don't see any maker's marks. And that's what that looks like. Black golden rhinestones, it's a classic look. Again, a piece like that, I would Google Lens to see if anything comes up. Because just because they're not marked doesn't mean that you um, can't find the designer name. Ooh, lots of bracelets. Ooh, more rings. So here's another ring. Uh, gold tone. Oh, this is stretchy. But not as stretchy. See, this elastic is starting to yellow. Um, get a little getting a little brittle and this big blingy rhinestone so you probably fit up to size eight or nine that's cool what's this what do they call these like the cha-cha style cha-cha rings like they see bracelets and necklaces they call this cha-cha when you've got all these little dingly dangly <laughs> those wheels or gears kind of steampunkish so this is all kind of white opaly um yeah opalescent almost milk glass type of look on a kind of uh gold tone ring shank and i see a stamp and it says oops i have it upside down yeah. Pilgrim? Never heard of that brand. Hey, where's my ring mandrel? Thought this was adjustable. I don't think it is. Um, about a size six and a quarter. Oops. That's fun. And a lot of this rhinestone jewelry, another way to sell it, especially the the icy rhinestones, the clear rhinestones, um, this is like great for bridal jewelry, bridesmaid jewelry, that type of thing. Those are other keywords you could use. All depends on, I guess, time of year or how you're trying to sell your bundles. Um, Let's see. Oh, this is cool. Kind of a navy blue rhinestones, antique gold, or almost gunmother color base metal. Yeah. like how that fits. So it's not stretchy. It's a cuff, but it's quite close fitting which I prefer see once you get it on it doesn't really it's not all loosey goosey man ton of bracelets 
charms and charms and bracelets. We. <laughs> So every time I pull out a new piece, I get I, different ideas on how to bundle this stuff together. Um, then I'll go through um, some other pieces in my closet that are ready to be listed to see if I can combine stuff. Here's a nice uh, big chunky blue rhinestone bracelet. Silver tone, but it's starting to show signs of wear so you can see quite a bit of the copper coming through. And see the elastic is turning yellow, which means it's getting brittle. Uh, I'm not even going to try putting that on. I'm just afraid um, that elastic is getting ready to snap. So actually, shouldn't have put that one back on. So that'll have to go into crafts. But I have that other one that is going to put into crafts. But then my make a nice craft bundle you know rhinestone craft bundle maybe hmm what else oh here's another ring it's tangled and don't know what that's supposed to be it's pretty it's like emerald green and icy clear rhinestones kind of like folded fabric but not sure what it's supposed to be. If you know what that's supposed to be, leave me a comment. <laughs> it's not really a ribbon. It's not really a flower. It's really cool. Does it have any markings on it? No, let me get you a size. Uh, it's about an eight and a half. I guess you could wear it like that. Let me see what it looks like. The other way. Eh, kind of like an abstract leaf or folded pleated fabric. Hmm. It's in really good condition. It looks like all the rhinestones are there and then tack. And here's another bracelet I'm going to be putting in crafts. You can see this elastic is really ready to give up the ghost. The elastic's discolored, it's frayed, it's breaking. And it's not really snapping back into place. But these are really nice components. You've got these little, these are all double strand. You've got these little, um, the AC rhinestone with AB coating. And then these little kind of square flowers with the clear rhinestones. So, yeah, getting a nice craft bundle. <laughs> new on card set here and we got a hitchhiker hang on what's going on earrings stuck on it It's getting tangled. Okay, I think this is there. You go. So this is new on card, a uh, little rhinestone necklace and matching earrings, a little heart shaped. Those are cool. And Walmart. <laughs> Originally nine dollars and eighty eight cents. Oh, I might keep this for a giveaway or add it to another bundle. I wouldn't list it by itself because $9.88 new, if you list it on eBay or Etsy or Poshmark or Mercari or wherever or do it in an online auction, you want to list for much less than the retail price so people feel like they're getting a good deal. But it's a very nice condition and a cute set. So 16 and a half inch necklace. And little pierced earrings. Here's another stretchy bracelet. It's these double strand stations with kind of turquoise and sea green. 
colored rhinestones and little silver spacers. Um, I might put this in that craft bundle. The elastic is starting to act a little funky. Let's see if I can get this on. Yeah, it's nice, but I just don't trust this elastic. It starts to get all wonky doodle. So what does that give me now? So yeah, four rhinestone bracelets in the craft bundle. And because it's rhinestones, normally craft lots, you know, it comes out to about 50 cents or a dollar a piece. I think because these are really nice components, you could probably get a little bit more than just a dollar a piece as long as you're, um, you know, listing that this is a craft bundle, repurpose only, not, not wearable. Um, I mean, even though you could potentially wear some of these pieces, I'm just afraid this elastic is going to break at any second. Yeah, I'm going to put this in that same bundle because um, the elastic is starting to see it's not really quite coming back but these are really nice glass faceted beads with a heavy kind of peacock iridescent coating and these um, wonderful rhinestone spacers I mean if you were to buy these components new at a bead store or jewelry supply house you're gonna play a pretty penny that's why I'm saying this is a really nice craft lot Um, I sell most of my items on eBay, um, but if you're interested in anything, um, reach out to me, email me at sales at thecreativecottage.net. Let me know which video you're watching and the approximate timestamp of the item that you're looking at. Um, and we can make a deal possibly if I haven't listed it on eBay yet. I can invoice you through PayPal, including shipping. Um, but if you buy directly through me, uh, from me through YouTube, it, I'll, um, can list at a much lower price because eBay charges, um, selling fees and I often do promoted listings. So there's a, a price for running the ads, but if I can sell directly to you off of YouTube, I don't have all those extra charges and I can cut you a deal. Here's a cute little rhinestone necklace, um, blue and clear, and the whole chain is rhinestones, and it's finished with a silver chain, very long extender, making it quite adjustable, lobster class. I don't see any maker's mark, but like this is a start of another bundle here with this set from Walmart and this one. And getting tangles, tangles, tangles. Oh goodness. And this, oh, this is like a pendant, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So there's a little jump ring there. I could attach that to a chain. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. It almost looks like the um, symbol for the medical profession, the Hermes staff, but it's filled with rhinestones. So I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. <laughs> I'll Google lens it. Different. Mm. Oh, here's earrings, matching set. They're hooked together. So, green rhinestone, big green rhinestones, aqua rhinestones, and yeah, some little chains. Those are nice. Ooh, it's really raining out. Rain, rain, rain. I mean, my phone will keep going if the power and internet go out, but then I won't have any lights. So, I guess I'd have to just pause and continue filming this another day. Cool. 
Yeah, what are these? Fashion earrings. Yes. Those aren't glass. Those are acrylic, pale, purple, acrylic stones, gold tone setting. Made in Korea. Little post backs. Earrings. Ooh, tingly, tingly. Ooh, another set of earrings. This is nice. They attached a couple. And so you have the set. This is teal. Three shades of kind of teal green and silver tone lever back. Little dangly. It's nice. Oops. Dropping stuff everywhere. So I was really happy with this bundle. Um, I've gotten a couple of those, you know, those mystery jewelry lots like the Goodwill Blue Box and um, American Thrift. They have kind of like mystery jewelry bundles where it's like seven pounds of costume, mixed costume jewelry. So you don't see the pictures of exactly what you're going to get. And I've done three of those, three or four of those mystery bundles and have not had great luck just not like been filled with junk not even crafting stuff like pure junk that you have to throw out one bundle I got had those you know those little individual dental floss picks I had one bundle that was probably one third of that I was just like seriously so I don't really bid on the mystery jewelry boxes anymore if you have let me and have good luck just leave me a comment I mean I do watch other people's YouTube videos and I see other YouTubers are either getting junk in their boxes or some people are getting really good stuff like they're getting sterling and gold or at least enough to make their money back um, and not so much junk um, so I'm a little bit leery to purchase these mystery jewelry boxes anymore that's why I prefer to only bid on lots that are like you can see the pictures and they're all rings or all earrings or in this case it was all um, rhinestone jewelry. I've got a lot of gemstone jewelry lots, but gemstone's fun because even if it's in crafts, um, I'll keep a lot of it because I do restring pieces. I do make my own pieces for sale and gemstones are always nice to work with. This is another one of those, um, rhinestone chokers. This is on silver tone metal with, um, black rhinestones. Looks like three rows and it's got the extender chain to make this very adjustable this is new I guess it's not new in tags but because it's in this I guess it's brand new so how many I've got like four or five of those rhinestone chokers now I think I'll do those a lot and I've got a couple of these bracelets with this clasp yeah it's magnetic that close yeah, magnetic. And this one's fun. It's kind of like, um, I guess it's pleather. It's fake leather, kind of plasticky. Uh, it's kind of like bead embroidery. So it's got all these, um, kind of like chain and then rhinestones. And then that looks like gemstone chips. Yeah, those look like gemstone chips and then some blue rhinestones. So that's kind of cool. I like the magnetic clasps are usually easy to get on when you're wearing a bracelet easier than fumbling around with a regular clasp so that's nice tons and tons of bracelets oh. keep that separate so that other pile is for my craft lot and here is the same style clasp magnetic clasp and this one's just a solid band of red rhinestones. Ooh, this one's smaller though. I'm not sure if this will fit me. Let's see. Yeah, that one's a little bit tight for me. 
in very good shape. And then I've got the same thing in all blue. Oh, except it looks like it's missing a rhinestone right there. It's hardly noticeable. Is that the same tiny spot? No, this was bigger than the red one. I don't know why the red one was so small. Yeah, I really like that clasp. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Here's another necklace. That's these little stations. I think these are acrylic. Yeah. It's acrylic, not glass. So black, um, medium blue, clear, and then kind of a white opal. And this kind of gunmetal colored chain. Looks like it's in really good shape. It's got a big lobster clasp and long extender. What else? Yeah, I'm going to keep going. I want to finish this bundle up. I don't think it warrants a second video. This is just a little rhinestone square and a silver tone chain. A lobster clasp. I don't see any maker's mark. Oops. Try that. <laughs> this looks like another set of earrings. I appreciate whoever did this bundle for these louver backs. They hooked them together, which makes it nice. They don't get tangled, and then you've got the match right there. Um, not sure why they put these in this bundle. These are not rhinestone. I mean, they're nice earrings. I'll put those in another bundle. It's these little gold tone drops in kind of pale pink, um, cat eye beads on the lever back. Very nice. But it doesn't go with rhinestones. <laughs> I'm sure I've got other pink jewelry. Or I could put it with this. This wasn't really rhinestones either. Here's a ring, kind of like a faux engagement looking ring, silver tone metal, really good condition. Let me see if I see any maker's marks on the inside. And do not get your size. Uh, it's about six and three quarters. So it's a little bit big for my pinky, but not big enough for my ring finger. That's cool. What's this? Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> it's like Dumbo. Like flying Dumbo covered in rhinestones. A gold tone chain. And it's very long. It has a lobster clasp, but this is really long. I almost think you could fit it over your head. Let's see if this has any maker's mark on it. Nope. But I will Google lens this little rhinestone elephant later to see if anything pops up. It's pretty cool looking. So much fun. And... Another pair of earrings, matching pair. Um, these aren't rhinestone either. These are kind of glitter, glitter enamel, gold tone and red glitter enamel. Um, it's the end of August, so I'll probably put these in a, a Christmas jewelry lot. I'm trying to think of the holidays. I've got a couple of um, Halloween costume jewelry pieces I need to list, and I've got a couple of Christmas bundles I'm starting to put together. Kind of getting to be that time of year. Oh, see, that'll be nice. Christmas bundle or start of a Christmas bundle right there. Cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got this pair of earrings. Looks like uh, black acrylic faceted stones surrounded by icy rhinestones. Um, silver tone metal, post backs, pierced earrings. And what's this? This is almost a Brighton style, but I don't think it is Brighton. This is like um, Brighton style or Premier Designs, but I don't see a maker's mark. So, oh, I've got a, got a class for it. It's missing something, like it had a toggle maybe. Maybe this is half of a toggle class and it's missing the bar part. I've got loads and loads of different kinds of clasps, so that'll go into my repair pile. But it's um, black faceted stones, well, probably glass because it's heavy and chunky, silver tone metal, and then loads of rhinestones. Does not want to focus. There we go. It's a nice necklace, just needs a clasp. So that was it. Goes into my pile of things that need fixing. Oh, and I do have the other bee, or what looks like to be a bee to me. Doesn't it kind of look like a B? So, like, blue, yeah, blue stone, icy rhinestones, and then this little brown acrylic, and little hanging chains, kind of brassy or gold, antique gold tone. They just look like bees to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I like them. Cool. What's next? Here's uh, another cute little necklace. Just, uh, this is a one solid bar, gold tone metal, little, what do they call that, marquee shape or diamond shaped rhinestones. And, oh, what does that say, loft? Yeah, I don't even need to get my jewelers loop out piece by the loft. And here's a little pendant necklace, kind of uh, antique gold tone with all these clear and kind of white opal rhinestones, kind of a little open filigree pattern and a little beaded neck chain. Um, Quite long. Don't see any maker's mark. What's this big piece? Goodness. Yeah. Ooh, here's another ring. Very blingy. All the colors of the rainbow. Kind of like a 3D flower. Gold tone uh, metal. Showing a little bit of wear in the back, but when you wear it, I don't think that's really noticeable. I don't see any maker's marks. Let me get you a size. Uh, like nine and three quarters. Very flower child. Hippie pride parade. Cool. And get this untangled. Looks like I got another necklace and a bracelet. Yeah. So this is just one of those stretchy bracelets. Um, kind of. Didn't I have another one of these? Kind of clear with a pale AB coating. Yeah, I think I've got another one of those. And lightweight necklace. This icy rhinestones and the whole chain is rhinestones and it's got a lobster clasp. I don't see any maker's mark but um let's see I'll probably put this in this bundle. Remember I had that blue one too. Kind of coordinate well. I don't know. I'm gonna cut you a good deal when I do the bundles instead of listing pieces individually. It's almost like you're buying things 
wholesale. Oh, I think I have this exact bracelet waiting to be listed or something oh, similar. Oh, I might bundle those together. This one's a little wider, a little more round, but similar enough. I think it has the same kind of opening. So you push that there and it opens up. A little clamper bracelet and this is marked. My jeweler's loop says, oops, Roman. Okay, yeah, look at pieces in there. Actually, I'm not gonna try it on because I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to open it up with one hand. And it's very good shape. Nice. This bundle is more than making up for some of the crappy bundles I've gotten in the past. <laughs> month or so and oh look at this bracelet a silver how do you open it you can see it's got a hinge I think the does it flip up somehow oh okay I think you have to push that I don't see any maker's mark looks like it's in good condition Blingy bling. And is this another peacock or kind of goes with a peacock? And I had, had the other necklace with the peacock, so I think I'll put this in that bundle. It's the same kind of color tones. Look at all those different colors. Cool. Oh, this looks like Leah Sophia. And then the next strap is three strands of this faux leather and then a strand of seed beads. But I don't see any maker's mark. I've sold quite a bit of Leah Sophia, but usually Leah Sophia would be stamped on the back of the pendant and it would have a little maker's tag, maker's mark tag. So, um,. I'll Google Lens it to see if it comes up, Leah Sophia, but if not, I'll just put it in that other bundle. Ooh, look at that ring. So it's like a dark forest green acrylic cab, kind of teardrop shape, and then these look like marker sites. Is it marker sites or rhinestones? No, I think those are marker sites. Marker sites are, um, is that pyrite? That's what marker sites are made from. And this size, uh, about size nine. And it's showing signs of wear, but yeah, it's showing quite a bit of wear. See how the silver tone is worn off the ring shank? But the top looks fine. But then you can see all the copper. So I'm not sure what I'll do with that one. Ooh, my first pin. Or bro brooch, actually. See, it's got the little loop. So you could attach the, this to a chain to wear it as a necklace. But it's got this pin back finding. So you could wear it as a pin or a necklace. Kind of gunmetal colored, and it's like a flower with loads and loads of rhinestones. But I don't see any maker's mark, I don't think. No. That's nice. Where to put it? Ooh. Here's a cute little bracelet. I might add this to the um, Christmas bundle I'm putting together. I think the color, the red and the gold. And then this is what the bracelet looks like. It has a fold over clasp. Don't see a maker's mark. It looks like it's in really good shape. Yes. Ooh, 
was a little tiny bracelet. Just fits on your wrist like that. Very lightweight. And another stretchy bracelet with the clear rhinestones with the AB coating. See how they change color? Mm, cute. Looks in pretty good shape. That's fun, but I'd wear that stacked with other bracelets. That's just on its own. Little bit. What else? What else? We're gonna finish up here. Ooh, look at this big blingy thing. Wow. It's like big um topaz almost. <laughs> This is just a little uh, pendant on this gold tone choker. It's adjustable. That's fun. My jewels. I'm rich. Millionaire. I'm straight to the pawn shop selling all my diamonds. <laughs> this is a little um, pair of amber colored um, lever back earrings. Oh, I feel like they're glass, not acrylic. Put those there. What do we got here? Ooh, that's a cool ring. It's like little enameled flowers, kind of black, brick red, and ivory colored with a bunch of icy rhinestones, silver tone metal. Looks like in pretty good shape. Don't see any maker's marks. What size are you? About a nine, nine and a quarter. Means I can get that on my ring finger. Ooh, I kind of like that. Put that there. Oops. Yeah, running out of room. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh, this is just a long chain, blue rhinestones, and that's all it is. And there's a little lobster clasp. You could just attach it wherever you want, so you can make it it's quite long. It's almost long enough. I wonder if you can double it or not quite. Maybe. Oh man, this is all plastic beads. I was hoping this is crystals, you know, the eight, the Austrian crystals, but it's just faceted acrylic. I mean, it's nice, but it'd be nicer if it was the crystal beads. So three strands, some little silver tone spacers, and then it goes into one strand. Finishes with a lobster clasp. Another stretchy rhinestone bracelet. This one's green. Um, not quite right shade of green to go into the Christmas bundle. That's more of a spring green. Still have a couple single earrings. I'm waiting for the matches. I hope I have them. Getting towards the end of this pile. And this, I think it's broken. It looks like just classy beads on a wire that somebody turned into this kind of flower shape and then these green rhinestones, but it looks like it's missing the seed beads from this section. Yeah, that looks broken. So, I don't know. I guess I could put that into crafts. Can you repurpose that somehow? Maybe. Maybe you could take the pin back off, or is it all wired together? Yeah, I think it's all wired together. That might be going into garbage, don't know. Don't know. Like that. Oh, those are earrings. That a match. Nope. So these are copper colored, or is it copper or rose gold color? 
kind of peachy rhinestone, big blingy earrings. I'll put these on here. Oh, that's got a weird um, earring back. Look at that. Is that got a maker's mark on it? Am I seeing things? I could be seeing things. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's got a maker's mark, but it's in script, in tiny script. So even with my jeweler's loop, I can't even make that out. Mystery! So I'll Google Lens it to see. Oh, look. Isn't that just like this other one? Yeah. Cool. More of these little enamel flowers with rhinestone. It's ring. What size is this? Oops. It's about nine and a quarter. Those are kind of cool. Hmm. I wonder if I should keep them. I know they're not anything fancy. I just think they're unique. With the enamel flowers and rhinestones. And it's a ring. I used to make jewelry. Well, I still make some jewelry. I had my own bead store years and years ago. I did craft shows. Um, I taught classes. I wrote articles for magazines. I hardly ever wore jewelry. And I still hardly ever wear jewelry. Rings are the one kind of jewelry I can usually wear. Just most jewelry, just, I don't know. I get, like, the pressure points and... Like, I don't wear earrings anymore. Bracelets, maybe for a while. Necklaces, not so much. But I will wear rings every so often. So that, those might be keepers. Oh, here's a cool necklace. See, I've got quite a few of these kind of flower or floral themed um, necklaces and the rings, etc. Bracelets. I might put together a... a Rhinestone bundle, like a floral, botanical-themed rhinestone jewelry bundle. That might be interesting. A gold tone. On this chain, and... Oops. Does it have a maker's mark? Yes, it does. J. Crew. That's nice. Oh, I didn't put the earrings back? Wow. Short attention span. It's like blue rhinestones, red rhinestones, squirrel. <laughs> yeah, I'm that person. I don't even know where to put this stuff. I'm running out of the room. Getting getting close to the end. Here's another stretchy um bracelet. Three rows of clear crystals. Um silver tone metal. I don't even know if I can fit more bracelets on my thing. Look at all these bracelets. Wow, just crammed all together. Blingy 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 blingy. Well, I feel like I need to go to a party somewhere so I can put on all this witsy, fancy rhinestone jewelry. <laughs> okay, what's this interesting piece? Uh, hmm. Really long. I think that's faux suede. Trying to look like suede, but it looks more like fabric or something close up. Oh, that's got a maker's mark, I think. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of this mother of pearl, mosaic mother of pearl bead. It's a big rhinestone bead. Big shell bead, faux pearl. And it's finished with this little gold and rhinestone kind of bell cap or tassel cap. And then loads of pearls. Well, faux, faux pearls. <laughs> They real pearls that would be cool let's see if i can figure out who made this without my jewel oh chico's I'm gonna say I didn't even need my loop you see chico's and it's got a big honking lobster clasp look how big that is that's different hmm And this will probably go into that 
peacock bundle. This, I think, matches that necklace. Isn't it? I might just do this as a set on its own. So, matching earrings with a necklace. Again, I don't see any maker's mark. Really does give me a feeling of Leah Sophia, but... Leah Sophia always marks their jewelry pretty well. Ooh, 110. I gotta finish this. It's getting to be one of my longest videos. Here's another little rhinestone ring, kind of like the little um, engagement ring look almost. Silver tone metal. This one is quite tiny. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit that on my pinky. It's like five. Come on, let's focus. Like five and a quarter, five and a half. Yeah. It doesn't even fit my pinky finger. I got fat fingers. <laughs> There's a tiny ring. I don't know. Here's a cute little heart-shaped rhinestone charm on uh, this kind of gold tone serpentine chain. Fold over clasp. Don't see a maker's mark. Somewhere I've got a bundle of heart Themed jewelry, heart shaped jewelry. Um, I'll probably put that bracelet into that bundle. And I've got a little pink, red, and white um, cardboard box. I'll probably do a Valentine's Day themed bundle um, at some point. We're in August now, so I probably won't list it right away. Um, this, uh, I'm thinking, is missing something. Like it had another piece dangling, but this is all worn. It's copper. You can see the copper shining underneath of it. It's quite worn there. See all the copper? So this will probably go into a craft bundle. It's wearable, but I'm not missing rhinestones. But when you get a lot of wear like that, I'm not that comfortable selling it as wearable jewelry. Um, that's why I usually put stuff like that in a crafter's lot and let the um, purchaser decide what they want to do with it. And then you get a good, a good deal too because instead of selling it as a piece of finished jewelry, um, you know, you charge much less for beads and craft supplies. Wow, this necklace is something. It's quite heavy. Um, and it's big. Look at this. This would cover the whole front of your chest um i guess you could wear it with like a white or off-white shirt and this would be this star of your outfit it's kind of got these opaly colored i think this is all acrylic and crystal rhinestones opal colored rhinestones silver tone metal big 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 necklace Let's say it's three pieces and then these little lightweight silver dangles, and then this gunmetal seed beads that just keep going and going and going. And I don't see any maker's mark. I don't know. I guess I could sell that as a festival piece. Um, I've got uh, in one of my bundles, uh, I've, I've been bidding on um, the new with tags or new in card, on card or new in box jewelry lots. I've won like three or four in the past month or so. I don't think I have any listed yet. But in one of those bundles, I got um, a gold chain with looks like a bra top. And I'm trying to describe it to my daughter. Um, she lives in Knoxville, Tennessee. And um, she's in her late 20s. And she and her boyfriend go to a lot of the music festivals. She's like, oh, that is, you could totally sell that to the people that go to the festivals. You know, you wear it, um, like with a tank top underneath or, um, you know, camisole or maybe bikini top or just on his own. <laughs> so a lot of these festivals are kind of out in the woods. So, um, yeah. And then it was so funny. Then we went to, um, she and her boyfriend were just down here a couple weeks ago and we went to downtown Delray beach. Um, she, she and her brother grew up in Delray. Anyhow, um, after we ate lunch, we were just walking up and down. Atlantic Avenue, because 
a lot of the shops have changed since she grew up, since she was a kid. And we went into Urban Outfitters, and um, they had this whole rack of the chain mail and gold and silver lame, like, bikini tops. I was like, oh, my God, it's the same thing. Like, uh, like I get it. Okay, people are looking for this type of stuff. So, um, yeah, I was like, I don't know what to do with this piece. And my daughter's like, yeah, no, you listed it's bohemian. It's festival wear. It's, you know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know, lady. What do I know? I'm 60. So sometimes I'm not up to date with the current fashions, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. You buy. <laughs> uh -oh. If I was like 20 years younger and 40 pounds lighter, I might keep that little chain bikini top. But yeah, no. <laughs> don't think it would even begin to fit me. I used to do the Renaissance Festivals. I'm um, in Palm Beach County, Florida. Uh, they still have the South Florida Renaissance Fair. At, where is that? Pompano Beach. It's usually five or six weeks in February. Um, I used to make my own costume pieces. My own, um, they call it the, the corsets with the boning and the grommets and the ribbon. And yeah, oh man, I used to go nuts for that kind of stuff. So I guess I used to be a festival goer back in the day. <laughs> Let's see. That's kind of it was tangled. Oh, that's cute. Kind of looks like um like a little vine, right? A little green leaves. A little vine. A bunch of different colored green rhinestones. Um, this kind of antique gold tone metal, gold tone chain, lobster clasp. I don't see any maker's mark, but that's pretty cool. I'm getting close to the end. Oh, I got a bunch of loose rhinestones. Oh, I should get a baggie. Set those aside and see if I can figure out what piece there you go to. Here's a nice blingy rhinestone bracelet. Silver town metal. A little lobster clasp. And the extender. Oh, see any maker's mark. Looks in pretty good shape, but again, since I see a couple of loose rhinestones here, I think they're mostly black rhinestones. When I go to take pictures of these um, pieces and before I put them into bundles to list online, I'll really go over them with a fine tooth comb and with my jeweler's loop and everything. Um, I'm just trying to get through this stuff a little bit quickly for this video. Here's a pair of earrings, big rhinestones, gold tone lever back. Those are just glass. Oops. Let's put those there. Almost done, almost done. And of course, these last few pieces are all tangling up on one another. A little cute rhinestone choker. And silver tone. Lobster clasp and the extender. I don't see any maker's mark. Another pair of earrings that doesn't really go. It's not rhinestones, but they're in great shape. It's kind of um, gold tone metal, a little pierced work and swirly durlies. Pierced earrings. Those are fun. Oh, I see the necklace that some of those black rhinestones might have come from. Let's see, what's this one? This is kind of pale peach or gold square rhinestones, little necklace, um, chain. Oh, this one looks like it has a maker's mark. Oh, is that Banana Republic? I think so. Maybe not. It's just some kind of symbol. First I thought it was Banana Republic, but yeah, that's not the B H or, or B R for Banana Republic. 
I'll have to Google Lens that. Who is that? If you know, please leave me a comment if you know who that designer is. Oops, that's the back side. That's kind of fun. Oh, I'm just throwing these on the table now as I'm going. Almost done. Almost done. So here's another piece. Oh, is it broken? Oh, man. It's broken. I don't think that's repairable. Because, see, it's not jump rings. It's actual little metal. I'll put that in my to-be-fixed pile. See if there's anything I can do with it. It's a little heart-shaped rhinestone necklace. That would have been wonderful to put in that um, Valentine's Day bundle I'm doing. So I'm going to see if it's repairable or if I can use parts of it to maybe make a bracelet or a pair of earrings. I hate to just throw it all out. Or I could just put it in that craft bundle. But... <laughs> So, I'm going to have to take a closer look at this necklace. It's big black acrylic stones and tons of these little tiny black and clear rhinestones. And I think I've got two or three loose black rhinestones that are about this size. So, I'm thinking that potentially it came from this necklace. Doing a quick look here. I can't tell. But I will put this to the side and see if any are missing. Oh, and this has got a maker's mark. Mm -hmm. Tracy Lynn. Haven't heard of her, but that's kind of cool. I hope that's repairable. Or maybe it's a different piece. Or those could just be loose rhinestones. It might not even be from any of the pieces. Could just be, you know, when they're putting the bundles together at the Goodwill stores, they could just be scooping from bins. I don't know. <laughs> and I think I've had this necklace before in a different color. It might have been just the clear rhinestones. It's a little um, ballerina charm with a rhinestone tutu and a silver chain. And yes, it's got a maker's mark. Oh, Claire's. <laughs> Yeah, so not expensive, but that's fun. My daughter grew up on Claire's jewelry. Um, she would collect her allowance, and like around the ages of 8, 9, 10, 11, she would go almost every weekend with her allowance. We'd go to Claire's and spend hours, it seemed like, spending her money. <laughs> What's this? This is like a lariat, I think. So silver tone, metal, just the, come on, let's focus, camera, wow, and this thing is adjustable, see, so you can adjust the length to make the tassels longer or shorter, and just fits over your head, I think I got two or three pieces left, so... Yeah, so I don't have a match for that one, which it's not rhinestone, but I kind of liked it. It's kind of artsy looking. And I don't think I have a match for this one. It's like a um, rainbow-colored rhinestones. It's like, kind of like the fish, but only one. So that's a bummer. I've got this necklace, uh, very lightweight, clear rhinestones, and kind of this white opal -y little cabs on this gold tone box chain. Um, that's a little tag. Uh, yeah, I don't know who that is. Let's see one. To get four necklaces it looks like I've got left. So we've got this blingy one, just all clear rhinestones, silver tone, metal. Looks like it might have a maker's mark. A little leaf. Hmm. Don't know who that is. It's a leaf. But I don't see any name. And I've got this blingy necklace. 
slower tone. Don't see any maker's mark. Oops. Then the second to last is this big thing. It's just these little, um, ooh, they're covered with the rhinestones on both sides. These little charms linked together with chain. The charms look like gold tone and the chain looks silver tone. And it just keeps going and going. And then the last piece looks like it's got a maker's mark says express really fine silver chain here's where it says express oh it's upside down though express and this little pendant like this little cage filled with chunky rhinestones i'm sure they were diamonds <laughs> cash those in hope those aren't gonna fall out yeah that's fun so, let's see. So I didn't have matches for these. And here's my little rhinestones. I'm going to put those in a baggie to see if any of these pieces need repairing. But thank you so much for watching my six and a half pound um, bundle of rhinestone jewelry that I got at a shop Goodwill um, online auction. And again, this is Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.